What is a scary or horrifying fact that shouldn't be true, but is? Snails have thousands of teeth. Every single year, there are thousands of people in the US alone who disappear. Most of them show up again, usually the next day but sometimes a few days, a few weeks or even a few months later. However, out of these thousands of people, there are roughly 150 people, every single year, who disappear and simply never appear again. Nobody knows what has happened to those people. They might be dead. They might not be. We simply don't know. There is more actual lemon juice in lemon scented pledge spray than there is in country time lemonade. All these comments will be read by a robotic voice and played on YouTube. This will also cause many students to procrastinate by listening to that video. In the NT, Australia, I remember seeing a government warning that crocodiles inhabit the area. Among the few bullet points of advice on the sign, the last one read if they see you. It is already too late. Over 150 dead bodies of climbers are still on Mount Everest. Pigs can dispose of a body with relative ease. There are more Panda Express locations in the world than actual panda bears. If a person gets bitten by an animal who has rabies, he will continue to live on a normal life for 12 weeks. And after the symptoms develop, there is no way he's making out alive. You'll know you're gonna die. One of the experiments the Japanese did during World War II at Unit 731 was cutting off limbs of living. Waking people without anesthesia and sewing those limbs onto other prisoners. They also infected male prisoners with various infectious diseases then forced them at gunpoint to abuse pregnant prisoners to see if the disease would transmit to the baby. A lone pilot was flying in Australia in 1978. He reported to air traffic control that he was accompanied by an aircraft above him. When asked to identify the aircraft, he replied it isn't an aircraft. His plane disappeared and was never to be found again. Fatal insomnia. I learned it from this other post I hope I get to sleep tonight. Edit. Wow thanks for the awards and the votes. Some monks used to endure a spiritual practice whereby they eliminated all their body fat through diet and exercise. Ate wood lacquer tea to kill off internal bacteria. Then sealed themselves in a tomb holding a string attached to a bell. A year after the bell stopped ringing. The tomb was opened and if the monk's body was found to be uncorrupted they were revered as a saint. If not, they were a buried. The process took years and as they continued the monks required more and more help from their brothers until they entered the tomb. And the whole time you'd hear bells ringing from the nearby tombs as the monks inside slowly wound down the last days of their lives. Voluntarily poisoned, starved, and buried alive for a chance at sainthood. Khaled El Masri is a German and Lebanese citizen who was mistakenly abducted by the Macedonian police in 2003 and handed over to the US Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. While in CIA custody, he was flown to Afghanistan, where he was held at a black site and routinely interrogated, beaten, strip searched, sodomized, and subjected to other cruel forms of inhumane and degrading treatment and torture. After El Masri held hunger strikes and was detained for four months in the salt pit, the CIA finally admitted his arrest and torture were a mistake and released him. He is believed to be among an estimated 3,000 detainees whom the CIA abducted from 2001 or 2005. In May 2004, the US ambassador to Germany, Daniel R. Coates, convinced the German interior minister, Otto Schilly, not to press charges or to reveal the program. El Masri filed suit against the CIA for his arrest, extraordinary rendition and torture. In 2006, his suit El Masri v. Tenet, in which he was represented by the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, was dismissed by the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, based on the US. Governments claiming the state secrets privilege. The ACLU said the Bush administration attempted to shield its abuses by invoking this privilege. The case was also dismissed by the appeals court for the Fourth Circuit. And in December 2007, the United States Supreme Court declined to hear the case. On the 13th of December 2012, El Masri won an Article 34 case at the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. 
the court determined he had been tortured while held by CIA agents and ruled that Macedonia was responsible for abusing him while in the country and knowingly transferring him to the CIA when torture was a possibility. It awarded him compensation. More than which was duck all less than. This marked the first time that CIA activities against detainees was legally declared as torture. The European Court condemned nations for collaborating with the United States in these secret programs. When you get to sunburn, your cells are dying to avoid becoming cancerous. Dylan Klebold, one of the killers of the Columbine massacre, attended the school's prom three nights before the shooting. When he got home he was talking to his mom and showed her the flask he'd brought to prom, explaining that they'd only drank a little bit. He told her I just wanted you to know you can trust me. It's so chilling that he could say that and less than 72 hours later participate in the killing of 13 other people and himself. Something is eating the Milky Way galaxy. No, it isn't the plot for a Star Trek episode. It's really happening. In 2009. Researchers found a cluster of galaxies moving at an extraordinary speed towards a small patch of sky between the constellations of Centaurus and Vela. A acute some unknown force is tearing away chunks of the galaxy, and astronomers still have no clue what exactly is causing it. It's been named Dark Flow. There is something big out there. Far bigger than anything in our known universe. Such a behemoth would impose a kind of tilt on the universe. Causing matter to move in one particular direction or as observations of the dark flow suggest. Could be anything, up to and including another universe. The sperm whale is the loudest creature on earth at 230 dB. Like no, like louder than all the other it humans get up to. The Tsar Bomba the loudest explosion ever detonated by humanity was 6 dB quieter at 224. Sperm whales can produce sound waves so powerful it can kill you. Though apparently, they have been known to use their inside voices around human divers. They whisper around us so they don't hurt us. How about that? 60% of murders are unsolved here in Pakistan. We simply don't have the technology and training of the police officers in the west. You know how utterly bat it crazy Florida is? Actually all states are that crazy. It's just that Florida has rather lax privacy laws regarding legal matters so they report it. A koala's cuddle could give you chlamydia. Space is so big our minds literally can't comprehend the size of it. Within three days of death, the enzymes from your digestive system begin to digest your body. You could die at any moment without any notice and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Edit. Guys I appreciate the upvotes but some of you'll really need therapy. I wish you the best. But please go talk to someone. 51 is divisible by 17. The actual scientific cure for hiccups is anal massaging. And it works. There are at least two genocides taking place right now on this planet. And dozens have happened since World War II ended. Edit. Correction. According to Genocide Watch. There are 18 genocides taking place right now. I had meant to type nearly 20 and instead wrote at least 2 on the bus when my brain was tired. Source. In just one kiss, over 80 million bacteria are exchanged. Google fired two of their leaders in the RE ethics team for publishing articles about the dangers of an RE Google supported. Edit. Info. In December 2020, Mitchell and Jebru were working on a paper about the dangers of large language processing models when Megan Kacholia, vice president of Google Brain, asked that the article be retracted. Jebru pushed back, saying the company needed to be more open about why the research wasn't acceptable. Shortly afterwards, she was fired, though Google characterized her departure as a resignation. So they did leak important information. But I'd say it was an excuse, not the actual reason. An unbelievable number of people who die of dehydration do so with a fair amount of fresh water in their possession. Antibiotic resistance. I. The troposphere is the layer closest to Earth's surface. It is 4 to 12 miles, 7 to 20 km, thick and contains half of Earth's atmosphere. That is where our oxygen is. That is where we live. It is like we live in an aquarium. But we keep eating in it all the time and there is no one to clean the filters. 
Every time unemployment goes up 1%. 40,000 people die. The big short. It takes up to 10 minutes to drown in salt water. The government covered up a lot of crimes. Being gay is illegal in 69 countries. In 7 of those countries homosexuality is punishable by death. The average American consumes over 150 pounds of sugar every year. Edit. That's approximately 187 grams of sugar per day for my metric system friends. 1. If you are a healthy 20 year old, you have around 2860 weeks before you die. Just 2860 Sundays. 2. The average person will be less successful than they think. 3. About 153,000 people die on your birthday. 4. Seals have been known to rape penguins. 5. If you took all of the world's spiders and let them out in the Netherlands, they would consume the country's population in 3 days. 6. 1 in 50 of us is walking around with a brain aneurysm. Just hasn't ruptured. 7. The Colombian serial killer Pedro Alonso Lopez, who is known as the monster of the Andes, raped and murdered over 300 girls from Ecuador, Peru, and Colombia. However, after he was caught and imprisoned for 18 years, he was put in a psychiatric hospital. There he was reviewed, declared to be sane, and was set free, in spite of his blatant avowal that he fully intends to kill again. Ever since his release in 1998, nobody knows where he is or what he's doing. The sun will someday die. It's estimated that at least 1 in 7 children in the US has experienced child abuse and or neglect in the past year. Neglect is the most common form of child abuse, followed by physical abuse, sexual abuse, and psychological abuse. Comma s percent 20 estimated percent 20 that percent 20 at percent 20 least. Sexual percent 20 abuse percent 2 c percent 20 and percent 20 psychological percent 20 abuse. The oubliette. French, or the forgotten rumors translated in English. In medieval times, people would be descended into these rooms which were like 35 feet deep below the ground as punishment. They were narrow, funnel shaped, with the only way in or out being through a trap door on the roof, through which they are lowered down in the first place. Kings and lords would torture people by keeping them in the oubliette because these rooms would be so narrow there would be no space to sit or even turn. These prisoners would be left there to starve, while standing 24 hours and 7 days a week, to their death, sometimes among the bones and human wastes of the inmates who had died before them. The only light if there was any would come from the trap door on the roof. There would be absolutely no chance of escape as it was impossible to climb up the walls of the narrow passage. These were designed to inflict tremendous psychological torture on the prisoner often leading them into delirium. Absolute horror as to what we are capable of doing to our fellow human beings. You might feel like the healthiest person in the world and yet still randomly die in your sleep. Sudden arrhythmic death syndrome is just one example. There are tons of small obstructions and irregularities that your heart could be suffering from that go completely unnoticed by you, your friends, and your doctors. You might be at an increased risk of just passing on when you go to bed tonight, and no one would even suspect as much until you actually died. If you get murdered you have a slim chance of the killer being found. Whatever the it is at the bottom of the ocean. Seriously we know so little about this place and we've seen so much murderer sit down there that we've only scratched the surface on how much nightmare fuel is actually down there. If the average person understood our monetary system. There would be revolution tomorrow. Henry Ford. The partial reserve banking system is actual the biggest theft of wealth in human history. A gamma ray burst in space can release more energy than the sun in the whole lifetime produces. Burst. So. Nuclear weapons are just a tiny little toy compared to these GBRs. Even supernovas don't reach that much power. This is far beyond any scale. Marital abuse is still not a crime in 36 countries including India. In Mississippi and some parts of Florida, there is a bacteria in the water at the coast that will literally eat your flesh off of you. Florida is much safer than Mississippi though, at least, in that aspect, there is a mosquito in Florida that, when it bites you, can make your brain swell inside your skull and can possibly kill you. 
the existence of people who believe that the earth is flat, despite the overwhelming amount of evidence that it isn't. People starve to death every day while we produce more than enough food to feed them all. There are more slaves today than there were during the transatlantic slave trade era. On average spiders swallow 8 human beings per year in their sleep. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Terrifying. When you have scurvy, all your old scars and wounds open up, due to the vitamin needed to maintain scar tissue. So for me for example, I had my jaw dislocated and my gums cut open from check to check to remove wisdom teeth. If I got scurvy I would bleed uncontrollably from the inside of my mouth out. What would be your most horrifying scar? Virtually everybody has the capacity to kill. They just haven't been put under the circumstances where it would be a preferable option. In Argentina we have no DNA bank and a barely functional fingerprint detection system, even though we invented that itch. Also negligence by forensics is the norm. What does this mean? In Argentina if you kill someone you don't like, but the cops never suspect you, you'll never ever be remotely close to being busted. In fact, anyone could get away with murdering a stranger at any time without previous preparation. And if they somehow catch you red-handed, a life sentence is 35 years here with parole every couple of years. And there's a law that says that by every two people that get incarcerated one must be freed so there's always the chance you'll get randomly freed. Also, the average time a killer does here is between 10 and 20 years. The fact that we don't murder each other as much means anarchy could possibly work I guess. There's a place on Mount Everest called the Rainbow Valley. Which takes its name not from the rainbows that you see from it but from the colors of the jackets of hundreds and hundreds of corpses that lay across the valley. Pretty scary. The fact that the American government had a program to sterilize Native Americans without their knowledge to prevent natives from having children. And this was only 50 years ago. An estimated 1.5 billion disposable masks entered the oceans last year, and that's on top of a dramatic increase in other single-use plastics. People are capable of exacting horrific pain and suffering upon each other, for absolutely no reason whatsoever. The Indian cheetah and Sumatran rhino were among some of the species that went extinct in 2019 along with Chinese paddlefish, Yangtze giant softshell turtle. Spix macaw, Katerina pupfish, Indo-Chinese tiger. 73% of people have a tendency to believe statistical numbers based upon no facts or studies. 26% of Americans don't know the earth revolves around the sun. Edit, for all of you who are so appalled and can't believe this is true, I have bad news for you, comma. There is a parasite that will eat your brain, it's called. Negleria fowleri, and it lives in warm water lakes in the sand and silt in the shallows. It will swim up your nose and proceed to eat your neurons and your brain. Usually symptoms occur around 4 hours after infection and include headache, sensitivity to light and nausea. If you experience any of these after swimming in a lake you need to go to the hospital ASAP. If undiagnosed, you'll be dead within 24 hours. To diagnose it, you'll have to get a spinal tap and pray the tech working knows what to look for. In 2009 a paralyzed Belgian awoke from a 23 years long coma, and it was discovered he was fully conscious and could hear everything around him the entire time. Like, what, the, actual, f, just imagine lying there not being able to move for two decades but also being aware of your surroundings. That's all kinds of messed up nightmare fuel right there. Go into your calendar app, scroll 150 or so years into the future, you will not see those days. Those birthdays for your friends and family that repeat, eh, those won't matter anymore. Now, you might be thinking, but with modern medicine I might live that long. But no, you almost certainly will not. If you want to contemplate your own mortality, open your app, and find some random Wednesday in June of 2185 and think of all the things that will happen that day, that you won't be seeing. 125 people own as much as the world's poorest 50%. How dark the BTS of the Wizard of Oz is, in Judy Garland's, Dorothy, own words, they had us working days and nights on end, 
They'd give us pep up pills to keep us on our feet long after we were exhausted. Then they'd take us to the studio hospital and knock us cold with sleeping pills Mickey sprawled out on one bed and me on another. Then after 4 hours they'd wake us up and give us the pep up pills again so we could work another 72 hours in a row. Half of the time we were hanging from the ceiling. But it became a way of life for us. The Amazon forest has a huge gap of virgin forest between Brazil and other countries. Places kilometers away from the nearest cities. The Brazilian Institute for Native Indians, FUNAI, has got agents overlooking tribes and they take flights over the forest and always end up spotting huts. Fire pits and bow and arrow armed men. There are plenty of unknown tribes hiding somewhere that huge forest. People never contacted by civilization. The fun fact is even the institute agents have no idea of number, types and tribes they're inside. Can't track down, can't, or detect their genealogy. Amazon forest is a complex and humid place. You can hide a family of elephants there inside and you won't see it from the sky. If you're male and under 50 years old then the most likely thing to kill you is yourself. The chances of any of the super powerful people that used Jeffrey Epstein's island as a place to duck underage girls actually being punished for what they did is almost zero. FBI has stated that there could anywhere between 25 to 50 active serials in the USA right now. Human trafficking makes 150 billion a year in the money. Edit. It's honestly sickening that many of you commenting are making jokes about it. Try reading testimonies of those who had to endure such horrors. The youngest person confirmed to be pregnant was only 5 years old. Edit. Link. 1 in 6 men and 1 in 4 women have been sexually abused as children. Edited to add source. As I write this post, millions of Vuayas in rural China are being tortured and killed by the world's second most influential government and not one country has had the moral character to take action. At some point in the future, our descendants will ask why so many people were allowed to be treated so inhumanely for so long. The only real response will be we didn't want our supply of cheap stuff to be cut off. Absolute cowardice. The Earth's poles are slowly inversing. 